So what I have here are RGB LEDs rated at 12 volt and I've cut them into six LED segments and I have this LED controller that I'll be using with the remote to change the colors and then what I will be doing is soldering these wires along with them and what I'm going to do is run them through this silicone enclosure and use some silicone for your bath to make it waterproof. So the hardest part is probably going to be the controller. If you are going to leave it close to the LEDs, then you're going to want to use a little piece of that waterproof stuff and then use silicone to seal it. You see, I've sealed it now and now the controller can get wet in case of a rainy weather. Let's go ahead and plug it in and make sure that the LEDs work. So what you want to do is you want to use that uh, silicone waterproof and uh, put your LEDs in them and then uh, put some silicone and then leave it overnight for it to fully cure. So as you can see, I have my strands. I want to show you they're not the best job, but it's going to prevent from water from getting in onto those solder points and also messing up the LEDs. So I've gone ahead and done that. And the next stage is to hook everything up. So I've gone ahead and hooked it up to an external. As you can see, it's powered on, it works. The next thing to do is hook up the dusk to dawn sensor. The photo sensor so that uh, it doesn't waste the battery during the day and only when it is about to be nightfall and it turns on these lights so here is the final product I have something like this as you can see I'm right now letting this settle so I've got it taped up then I've got the lights going into that pomegranate tree I got this hooked up and it's water resistant and in here the way I have it hooked up I'll show you a diagram pretty much the only two terminals I use is the solar and the batteries and I leave that one blank and I directly hook up the LEDs to the battery so I'll show you a diagram how to hook it up this is what's inside this uh, photoresistor switch you'll see there's the photoresistor and pretty much with light intensity it activates this relay turn it on and off and it's pretty much what it looks like on the inside and I've got it here and I hooked it up to the LED 12 volt and then I can use that remote to change it to any color during the day you'll see the flashing arrow from the solar to the battery and then once it gets dark enough the battery will just show it going to the power supply and this acts as a switch to try to have it be more efficient so I have that and yeah it's as easy as that